Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with a Superfilm Support, which remember you can go to www.superfilmsupport.com and ask me anything and I'll answer in a video. This time I'm gonna be doing the latest Superfilm Support I got. I'm gonna do, be doing alternating old ones and new ones so I can catch up uh, every Monday on the Nikos Photography Show on the channel. So this question is coming from Tom. I think that's how you say it. It's like Tom, but with an H. Uh, from Australia, I think. He says, processing times. I just bought a Jobo CPE3 processor. Are the developing times different than using dip and dunk for sheet film or Nikkor type real tanks? So uh, I'm gonna call you Tom just in case. My brother's called Tom. I hope that's how you say it. Uh, when you use a Jobo processor and you use the expert tanks, they highly recommend that you lower the speed of the tanks. On the CPE3, you cannot use expert tanks. You can only use the normal 1500 series or the 2500 series uh, of tanks. For that, you're gonna be using the 2509N uh, reel that does six sheets of four x five, or if you do doubles, you'll do 12 sheets of four x five film. Or if you're doing eight by 10, then there's some third party, you know, tanks, no, reels that you can use to load your film. So when you're doing that, I never change my processing times. I do know that there are some people out there that recommend doing one thing or the other. Of course, processing film is something that's very personal and unique to every single darkroom or lab. Uh, either it's in your home, your kitchen, like my kitchen, or anywhere else. So what I recommend, first of all, is there's a book that I've mentioned a couple of times on the channel that's called The Rotary Processor Manual by John Tinsley. And it's not longer made, but you can buy it secondhand on Amazon. I'm looking right now, there's six used for $45. And I'll leave the link below, which also helps this channel. So if you feel like using that link, I'll get a little kickback. But that book actually talks about all kinds of things, Jobo processing and all that. Even though it's called the Rotary Processor Manual, it's all about Jobo. I'm sure that was some sort of copyright infringement, not being able to say Jobo, but it's basically the Jobo book. And in that, what they say is that if you're processing uh, in a Jobo with any developer, all you have to do is basically pre-soak with five minutes of water at the same temperature as your process. So usually 20 degrees Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit. For those five minutes, just H2O at that temperature for black and white. And then from there, you can do your normal. The only chemical that doesn't need this, that if I'm not wrong, is... Kodak Extol, which actually was made for rotary processing. So if you're using Extol, you should be fine. And if you're using anything else but Extol, then do those five minutes. This for black and white. If you're doing color, I never pre-wash. I go straight to a color developer and then go to, you know, uh, Blix or Bleach and Fix and then Stabilizer. Stabilizer, should, stabilizer shouldn't be done in the Jovo tank because they can leave residue. I usually do it and never had a problem, so don't tell anyone, but I do it. Uh, so yeah, basically that's how I do my um, sheet film. I don't change times to dip and dunk or anything like that. I actually don't usually do dip and dunk, so you wanna check before. And of course, you wanna tinker that process. Maybe you have a densitometer or you're printing. Check how those negatives come and then adjust your times. Of course, there's the massive dev chart and the manufacturer chart that usually have times. Those are rough beginning and then you can perfect it. If you're going the wet side, you check it with your prints. If you have to do a lot of contrast changes with your filters in the darkroom, you need to change. Or if you're scanning, then of course you can change things a lot on Photoshop or the digital workflow. But yeah, that's how I recommend it. So basically, Tom, I hope that helped you. I hope you'll enjoy the CPE3. I actually had one, but I have now a CPE, CPP3, but I do have CPE2. So any other questions you wanna ask me or see, I can even make a demo, like a demo video in this kitchen, which is what it's built for, showing how to use a Jobo and how I do it. Um, I'm planning on it, so let me know. So yeah, guys, as always, if you feel like helping this channel, there's a Patreon link below that you, know, you can support the channel from $2 up. It helps and you can unsubscribe from Patreon if you don't like it anymore, if you've changed you know, your hobby or you think you've given Nico's Photography Show too much money, you can always do that. And uh, it makes me take my time, make these videos for you guys, build kitchen sets, use stuff. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. And remember, superfilmsupport.com. Just ask me whatever you want 
and I'll try to make my best to answer you on a video. Thanks, and see you in the next one. Bye.